Good morning, folks. We're starting with 304 angstroms today watching peripherally visible filaments at the limb. Three videos were posted to YouTube yesterday here, so check them out if you missed them. But let's get started today over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at yet another day without sunspots or solar flares. But from the left on the north, we see this long, thin, incoming coronal hole, and just behind it, over the limb, an incoming plasma filament. We saw this vertical filament yesterday morning, also known as a solar tornado. And when they orient vertically like this, the high side magnetism holding the filament together comes out into the corona in a helix and steadies in a ball, almost like lasting ball lightning or a plasma orb in Earth's atmosphere. Because it's electromagnetic, the charged particles are expelled from that confined, localized region. And folks, this is how a coronal cavity forms at the end of a filament. I am showing you the pink 211 view to see the sparse plasma and how it moves around within the cavity, Whereas you may have seen the con artists online only showing the one that makes it look like an alien ship is there at the end of the line. Color means matter. Black means nothing there. Stepping back out, that coronal hole system coming in will face Earth tomorrow. Meanwhile, we are still awaiting impact from the departing one's solar wind, the ones leaving visibility. The solar wind we do have is relatively calm, but for a phi angle shift in blue this morning, could see a solar wind intensification within about 36 hours. However, right now, all is calm here at Earth. Top quake the last day released a good amount of pressure south of Africa. Luckily, this one was far away from everyone, and there's nothing to report about damage or injury. Interesting paper out yesterday night on Cornell's archive about magnetic fields dominating fast-rotating stars. You will recall, we've been recently diving deeper into what our own star's magnetic fields might be like, the article in focus here has its eggs in the quasi-dipole basket with most of the magnetism confined to two sectors and near the poles. It is critical, however, that we recognize that things may be different at different stars than they are here on the Sun. Let's take the lesson Sophia gave us this month. You might know it's on a plane, can be upgraded and fixed, and flies above 99% of the infrared blocking water vapor that would hinder its spectroscopy. Here's the lesson. Sophia made two recent discoveries about galactic scale magnetic fields. In this one, the fields orient north and south with the cosmic jet and enclose the galactic disk perpendicularly. Then it looked at another system and found the magnetic fields dominated by rotational dynamics with parallel to disk fields that wrap with the spiral arms and are perpendicular to the north-south jet. Either it can happen numerous ways in galaxies and maybe on stars as we were implying, or there was maybe just a viewing angle issue here and the fields exist in both setups in all rotating galaxies. Folks, I would love to play a little game of which is more asinine, the genetic modification edition. Comment below on which recent middle finger to nature you find more deplorable, the cows engineered to give more milk and survive superheat, even though thrice as many cattle die from cold and ice each year, or is it the edible banana peel? You go ahead and eat that if you want to. Vote which is crazier in the comments below. Lastly, on the news front, cyclone in the Indian Ocean, luckily not near anyone, but demonstrating a terrific global electric circuit connection to the upper atmosphere. Wind sucks into lows at ground level, and this one maintains the column up through the cloud layer and does not begin releasing its intake until we get all the way up to the jet stream. No atmospheric layering in that area, just an electromagnetic current. Folks, there are only two days left to register online for Observing the Frontier 2018. We are less than three weeks away from the awake event of the year. We've got your world of wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.